Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm just doodling one of my characters. Um, I actually tried recording a couple of other videos, but the drawings just weren't turning out like I hoped, so I'm doing this instead. Um, when in doubt, just little cartoony characters, I guess. <laughs> uh, but um, this is actually a character I haven't had for very long. Um, he, uh... Honestly, I cannot remember what I named him. Gil, I think? Or something like that. I don't know. But I just doodled him one day because I wanted a character with horns and ears like that. And he was so cute, so I kept him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. One thing I do have problems with when it comes to designing characters is the outfits. Like, I'm just not good at coming up with outfits. Usually I'll just go to like fashion blogs and stuff and find reference pictures there, but I tried not to do that with this one. Uh, I've been trying to do it less. I know that it's probably not a bad thing, but I want to come up with more original outfits, but I'm not sure a, a, a coat and scarf qualifies as original, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it'll work. But, um... Yeah, that's, uh... I have taken a lot from watching other YouTube artists, like how they draw clothes and stuff. Uh, because, like, the little fuzzy thingies on the scarf to add texture. That is something that I saw... God, I can't remember who it was, but I saw somebody do it and I thought, Oh, that looks really cool. So... <laughs> I, uh, I've started doing that on a lot of my clothes, adding more texture to it, and I, I really like it. So, same with, like, the, the lines on the coat, but... Another thing is figuring out how th those kind of ears attach to the head. Like, I couldn't figure it out, so I just added these big, poofy, furry ear things. And I mean, I like how it looks, but <laughs> it's kind of hard to find good references for anatomy for stuff like that because it's not like something that actually exists. Well, I mean, ears and stuff like that do, or like goats and stuff, but not attached to a human head. So, I don't know, but I think it turned out okay. Same with the horns, it's like, uh, I think these look okay, even though I'm not sure they're anat- Eh, anatomically correct as far as how that would actually look. Um, and I did have some trouble with the eyes, but you don't actually see me doing that because I skipped the coloring. So you don't actually see me coloring it, but I tried like so many different uh, designs with the eyes. Like I tried adding in like I made them blue and then I added different shapes for the pupils and stuff and I, I you know, it just, uh, I don't know. I do really like his pose though. I mean, I know it's really simple and stuff, but I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> I think having the tail add something to it. Um, it just kind of makes it more, I don't know. Oh, but here you can see that I skipped the coloring and went straight for the shading and the recording. Um, something I just started doing, actually, is coloring the line art. Again, something I saw another YouTube artist doing. I can't remember who it was. I've been watching so many lately. Um, <laughs> but I really like how that looks. And I'll, I'm sure I'll mix it up, but it just... I don't know. It, it's so cute. <laughs> and... With, like, the new kind of shading I've been doing, where I don't blend it or anything, it's just, like, I think it's called sh uh, cell shading, or something like that. It just, it, make, it blends good, you know? And then here I am fixing the colors, because that's how I do that. I don't pick the colors right off the bat, I just... And you're finished. Again, the picture was too, like, tall to fit in good, so I just, uh, show you here. 
hope you enjoyed.